Hello everyone, Akars here. Today we'll continue working on my not very small side project called... Wait, 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 wait. I have a feeling like I've seen this before. Why? Maybe because there are 11 episodes of this dialogue which started exactly the same. Not cool. If you haven't already guessed it, we are starting to make some really dramatic changes to Zaris in order to turn it into a somewhat decent game. So, let's get started. Right now, the game is kinda boring. There is much to do and there is almost nothing cool to see. So, I decided first to place the boring map with somewhat more interesting to explore. I started with designing and planning out the landscape. I'm not that much of an artist, so the picture isn't too good, but it shows the idea. Basically, we had three main biomes – plains, mountains and lake forest, with some additional areas like the spike coast and the beach. Each biome has its ruin monument, which the player has to activate to progress through the game. The biomes also differ by their difficulty, with plains being the easiest one and the mountains the hardest one. The player starts here, in the camp, and has to go all the way out here to do some hunting and complete missions. But since the day in game is limited in time and you kinda have to return to the camp tonight, you probably wouldn't want to stay in the harder biomes for too long, as they are pretty far from the camp and this is the problem. The solution is to repurpose activated twin monuments to serve as fast travel points, but we'll figure it out another time. Alright, let's talk about the elephant in the room. What is this crash site? The thing is, I have long been thinking about what the game's law should be and came up with this. Basically, it's the future. We were part of a research team whose ship crashed into a seamlessly lifeless planet, but somehow landed onto this island. Your objective is to survive, to figure out what's happening and to get out of here. Rather simple, but I guess it's okay, at least for the beginning of the story. Anyway, let's get to actual level design. First, I added the water level to guide me and started laying out the island, following my reference. Then I got to sculpting some landscape features and painting in the biomes. It looked okay, but turned out to be a little too big. But it's not much of a problem for a game engine today. Then I got to populating the level with some foliage and rocks. I modeled a brand new tree for the lake forest biome. I still need to improve the LODs, but at least the tree itself looks decent. I also added bigger bushes and bigger rocks to add some variety to the landscape, and I guess it worked out pretty well. But the watershed is still kinda not good, so I decided to change it. I tried using Unreal's water shading setup, but it didn't really work out for me for some unknown reasons, so I just did everything myself. It still doesn't have any real waves, but it does have a nice illusion of them, created by scrolling the two normal maps on top of each other. I also added this nice little rim effect near the coast and a color gradient based on how deep the water is. Then I worked on some caustics and built them into a post person shader so it can be applied anywhere. The only problem with this is the fact that they apply onto everything from any direction, but it's not that noticeable, so I will leave it like this. When I was done with landscaping and populating the level, I got to modeling the spaceship. I quickly made a base model and a few random pieces, which I then scattered across the whole ship using the geometry nodes. Then I enabled proportional editing and moved some things around to create some damage effects. It's not the best method for this, but it gets the job done, so I'm happy with it. After that, I imported the whole thing into Unreal and gave it some procedural textures. I also separated one of the trusses and put it near the camp to make it look cooler. Maybe later I will add some platforms and tents onto it. We'll see. This is totally not everything I want to do with this map. As you can see, I still miss the spike coast and all of the ruins aren't a thing yet. So there is a lot more to get done. But even this is much better and more interesting to explore than what we had before. So I'm definitely happy with it. In the next video, we'll probably work on some really cool gameplay features, as what we've got done today is only the beginning of the massive changes I'm planning for this project. So subscribe not to miss something cool and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!